Hi, I'm Jim, the hummingbird guy. We're down here in Fallbrook, California, and the weather's been cold, and so the hummingbirds are just now starting to come back in force. As you can see, I've got hummingbird feeders already started in the tree. Uh, this is where I put them, and by the time we're done, we'll probably have a dozen or so, and the tree will be buzzing with hummingbirds. Fallbrook, is an agricultural area. Everybody's got pretty large properties here. And a lot of people have orchards and they make a lot of flowers. And there's a lot of nurseries that grow their flowers down here and sell them to other parts of Southern California. So when the hummingbirds come back, we've got a lot. I wanna show you something really exciting today. The last thing that was invented for hummingbirds was probably a hundred years ago. That was a hummingbird feeder. And since then, there really hasn't been anything new for the little hummingbirds. So this is what I'm gonna show you. Quackups has come up with three new products for the hummingbirds. They have hummingbird nesting pods that go in your tree. They have Hummingbird Home, which provides fiber for the nest building. And they have a bubbler for the hummingbirds to bathe and clean. I want to show you the hummingbird bubbler. The hummingbird bubbler ripples the water and it makes it attractive for the hummingbirds. And here, this is the way it comes. There's instructions on the back, but you really don't need a lot of instructions because you just open the box and inside the box you'll find the bubbler bowl made from very durable material it won't break so inside this little foam pouch is the the solar disc that goes into the bubbler this is what's going to pump the water out the the red red dome is the attractor it goes right on the top. Underneath is all the electrical components in here, sealed up. And this is the solar pump. We can go into maintenance of the solar pump or cleaning of the solar pump later. But what I want to show you today is how it works. And then the solar disk just fits right between the little walls there. You can already hear it working. And all you need to do is add water you can add a little bit of water you can add a lot of water throughout the day you can add more water depending on what your solar pump needs you might need to burp it a little bit to get it going but it will get it going it's firing up right now if you want to make it a little prettier a little more cute you can add a few little flowers to the mix. That makes it a little more attractive to the hummingbirds. So, it's a very pretty little thing to have in your garden. It's fun to watch. Hummingbirds will come and they'll play in it. And with the shape of the bowl and the red attractant and all, everything is nice and smooth inside and it won't. Uh, injure the bird. Now this does need sunlight. If you cut the sunlight you'll cut the pump. So be sure you locate it in the sun. In the morning it'll be pumping slowly. Right now it's around noontime. This is the maximum that it pumps. It doesn't spray all over the place and empty out the bowl real fast. It's a gentle thing and it ripples and it attracts the birds so that's it it's a beautiful thing and a brand new product specifically for hummingbirds i'm going to show you the hummingbird home and the hummingbird nesting pods so you can have more baby hummingbirds in your yard this is the hummingbird home and this is the nesting pods you get two in a package there's a little clip on the back, but this is the best place to nest. And this is the attractant, but there's cotton in there. There's little fibers of cotton. 
And the nesting pods, the way they're different, is these are just for nest building. If a, a bird wants to be discreet where it puts its nest and all. So you get two in a package and you just clip these onto the tree as well. So I've got a couple of loose ones here and I'll give you an example of how they work. You can see there's a, there's a little clip there that's kind of like a clothespin clip, but these are all made from plastic and the clip ha has stainless steel. So all you have to do is find the right place in your tree and clip it on. Clip it on, it's firm, It's it'll stay good. This one looks like a bunch of sticks and it has a, a rough surface so that the nest will adhere to it. And the hummingbird can build the nest right on there. If it rains, there's drain holes so the nest will stay nice and dry. This is the hummingbird home. It has cotton in it and the cap on the back comes out you can replace the cotton you just push it right in there and you put the cap back on and it's good to go i like to pull a few fibers out just to make it a little bit more enticing but the hummingbird home also has this that replicates the junction of sticks hummingbirds like to build their nest on sticks they don't build their nests in birdhouses. You will not see a hummingbird go into a birdhouse. It just doesn't happen. They don't go into holes. They like to build their nests on on sticks, branches, and all. And you just put it on the tree just like that. You find a nice sort of a tucked-in place where it has a little bit of shelter from leaves and it hides it a little bit. You don't want it as we've done here, way out in the open sun or where another bird would see it or a predator. So this is the hummingbird home and this is the hummingbird nesting pod. You clip them in your tree and get more babies. Why do we need hummingbirds? Well, we do. Nature needs them. It's good for our environment, it's good for the planet, and they're the great pollinators. They're right beside the bees. They go from flower to flower, pollinating and doing their work. So, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.